Hello, this is Steve Bailey uh, with Agrilon uh, sharing some hints about how to control Japanese stiltgrass. Uh, Japanese stiltgrass has showed up in our area, uh, I would say within the last five years, really more pronounced, and off in, in, uh, in different areas maybe over the last 10 years. Uh, for those of you, do, of you who don't know what Japanese stiltgrass is, uh, during the height of the summer, if you're going along the roadway and you look into the woods, it's that grass is about knee high. It's an annual grass, it's not there in the winter, and it dies off with the first frost. Um, the key to controlling stilt grass is that you have to actually apply your, you can control it with your crabgrass pre-emergent. Here at Agrilon we use Dimension, but you have to have the Dimension down earlier. The stilt grass will actually, actually germinates, I would say about two weeks before the crabgrass germinates. So the silk grass germinates in cooler temperatures. Now, that can be a little bit harder to control because sometimes you have snow cover, uh, so you gotta, you gotta really be quick if you're gonna control the, uh, the silk grass. Now we have seen at Agrilon great results with Dimension, which is a product that we use. Uh, we apply it at the label rate at five and a half pounds of 0.15 Dimension. And if you go to some of our customers' homes that have had tremendous stiltgrass infestations in the past. If you go to the wood line, once the stiltgrass is germinated, you will see a line where the stiltgrass has been controlled by the dimension and where it's knee high in the woods. So to control stiltgrass, just remember, you've got to get out there a couple weeks before the forsythias bloom or a couple weeks before the soil temperatures hit 68 degrees.